All right, here's another time lapse. In this time lapse, I'm, my main goal is to fix the head a little bit to make it blend with everything else. So at this point, I'm thinking that the whole form is a little bit more cat, you know, the whole overall monsters a little cat like in some nature so I'm I'm kind of feeding into that as far as the head goes so I'm thinking panther versus gargoyle and trying to put that into place so here I'm just kind of puffing out the cheeks getting everything lined up making everything lined up and let's see what we got here this is a boring stage, so I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. I'll slow down if I make any significant moves here. Just using a flattening brush to flatten out those forms so it looks like skin. In the mouth a little bit, making that push back. Moving those eyebrows around to see if I can get a better gesture on it. It's like uh, the emotion is just so passive right now. Trying to pull out some more of these muscles in the jaw. Still establishing a skull too at this point too. So I'm just adding some of this. Here I need an extra eyelid. I feel that you know it's 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 lacking a lot of detail in this area. Of course, the topology is awful because it's just a just a giant square um, for the head. So I'm going to have to keep uh, building it up, smoothing it, building it up, smoothing it, building it up, smoothing it. And here is where um, my topology is just so far gone that there's no helping it. So unfortunately, I have to go to the next step, which slows down the whole entire process beyond belief. Always save before doing this. This is where it's pinwheeling to doom. There we go. So I'm just going to increase this. And you notice now I have enough topology in this area or enough high res detail to be able to handle something like uh, an upper eyelid. Now, of course, that's going to lead to some evil normal mapping in that region because I fought the topology so much that I had to go to another level. So to kind of counteract that, I use the pinch brush, and that really does kind of relief or move the topology in a certain nature to kind of match that. So now I'm just taking the pinch brush and kind of tightening up some of these forms. I like to keep everything at the same level. That way when I do do surface detail in the next chapter, um, it's all there. Uh, I'm not I'm not worried about the next phase. I'm not tweaking anything. I'm just adding surface detail. Here's a great thing for the lips. If anybody has like huge problems with lips, I know students have like some major, major problems with lips. Uh, since I kept everything on that edge loop I have complete control over the top and bottom lip via these edge loops right here and I can push and pull these and, and get this V in the area and move it around and then I could puff up this lip pretty easy again this is all because you know I kept everything on that this wireframe accurate in this area you notice the accuracy of the wireframe in this area is not as good, so that's where I led the problems here in the upper eye. So generally, I keep I make these really big poofed out lips, and then um, 
then I'll add some emotion to the character afterwards. Okay, and you can see it's pinwheeling again. You can always tell when it's pinwheeling. And pinwheeling means it's like lagging on a Mac. Okay, so I just adjusted that whole look for the character just right then. And now it's got a more of a noble look to it. And I can fix up that jaw quite a bit. There you go. Such a huge drastic change for the head. All right, in the next video, we straighten out some more of the anatomy and topology and everything else, and we get the creature's uh, hands going.